Owning a short-term rental in Northern Michigan can be both a very profitable and a very fun experience. Hi, I'm local real estate agent, Gino D'Angelo, and I specialize in selling Northern Michigan real estate and also helping short-term rental owners manage their rental properties. Today, I wanna to talk about all the things you need to know before diving into the world of short-term rentals. First and foremost, when you're looking for an area to buy a short-term rental, you need to know the local laws and regulations. Not every area in Northern Michigan is short-term rental friendly. Some require you to go through their in-house rental management, which hurts your profitability, and some areas don't allow them altogether. For instance, the city of Petoskey only has a few short-term rental licenses available and they are currently all taken. Also, certain condos have it built into their HOA bylaws that they do not allow short-term rentals. The best way for you to find this out is by asking your agent to do their due diligence and find out what areas do and do not allow short-term rentals. All right, so you've found an area that allows short-term rentals, you've identified a house that you're interested in, what's next? What we recommend once you get to this point is to do a short-term rental analysis. This allows you to look at the competition, try to figure out what your home is going to rent for per night, look at your cost of owning the home and figure out if those numbers make sense. One thing I like about short-term rentals versus just regular residential real estate is it's more of a math equation or a math problem than an emotional decision. Now, once you've selected and purchased a house, you really have two choices to manage the property. You can self-manage, which a lot of people do, or you can hire a management company like ours or one of the other great management companies in Northern Michigan. Regardless of which route you pick, there's a couple of things you have to keep in mind. You're gonna want a strong online presence. You're gonna make sure that you use professional photography and videography so the public can see how nice your house is. Another key thing is to make sure the pictures and videos of your house look exactly the same as when the guests will arrive. Nobody wants to feel tricked when they see this great house with beautiful furniture on the internet and they come to find something that's not as nice. Another key factor is write a compelling description about your house. That way the people that are looking to rent can have an idea of what it's going to be like to stay there. Unlike when somebody looks for a house to buy, they're unable to walk through the house so make sure that the pictures and the description give them the best feel as possible. Once you're ready to market your home, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you list it on VRBO, Airbnb, and Booking.com. Those are the three most prominent sites that people looking to run a house in Northern Michigan go to, and you're gonna to wanna to make sure your house is featured on them. This is one of the main reasons people hire us is because we're used to marketing real estate and marketing a home for rent is very similar to marketing a home for sale. The next thing you're gonna to wanna to think about is the guest experience. What is the experience like from the second they open the door through their entire stay? Is there anything you can do to make their life easier or more enjoyable? Hopefully after your guests have had a positive stay, they're going to leave you a review. These are very important because the sites that they book through will give you what's called super host status, which shows you're one of the best hosts and they can plan on having a great experience with you. One of the tips that we've learned from managing a lot of houses is make sure you have clear instructions for things like the Wi-Fi code and also where the towels are. How many towels are there? Do they need to bring their own? Is there anything they should know before they arrive? Another boring but important aspect of owning a short-term rental is the financial planning portion. Financial planning is key to long-term success. It's important to know that while you might get a high average rate in the summer, it's gonna be a lot less in the winter. So you wanna make sure you have budgeted year round because even though you get a lower rental rate in the winter, you still have taxes and insurance and maybe even a mortgage due. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you have enough money in the bank to carry you through the slower times. Another thing to consider is, are you going to rent your house in the winter? If so, what are the seasonal rates? Is it worth keeping the house open, keeping it clean, making sure the snow plowed, or would you rather just close it down and open it up back in the summer? Another area that we take pride in is rate management. You're gonna to wanna to actively manage the rates, which frankly could be a full-time job by itself, to make sure that you're raising the rates when there's local festivities going on and lowering them when the slower season comes. You're also gonna to wanna to make sure you keep track of your income, expenses, and everything related to the finances to give to your accountant at the end of the year. Owning a short-term rental in Northern Michigan can be a very lucrative experience. Where else can you have an investment and also be able to use it when you choose to? If after watching this video, you would like to investigate buying a short-term rental in Northern Michigan, please reach out to me directly at 231-487-6141. And for more videos like this and all things Northern Michigan related, please like and subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions about what it's like to own a short-term rental, please leave a comment below.